Welcome to the special event of the month. Sorry that I've been away for such a long time. I just didn't have any time to do this, but I plan on being just as consistent as before. Instead of making just one video dedicated to the top 10 best movies of 2021, I decided to make a whole special event around this. So every week there's going to be two new movie lists of top fives of the best 2021 movies of one genre. First up, we have horror movies. By the by, I'm the movie guy and let's start this list. Number five, Fear Street Trilogy. I found it pointless to choose just one entry because they were all released just one week apart on Netflix and they just work better as one standalone watch. The Fear Street trilogy is based on a book series written by R.L. Stein, and it focuses on a group of friends who investigate the series of gruesome murders uh, that has plagued their town Shadyside. This is a teen slasher film that is gory when it wants to, funny as well and generally intriguing. Lee Janiak is a director and she instantly jumped on my list of directors to watch in the future. All three films were incredibly well received by both critics and audiences alike and for good reasons. The characters are perfectly developed, the dialogue is fun, the atmosphere is tense when it needs to be. The Fear Street trilogy was a hit and it is my fifth favorite horror movie of the year. Number 4 Gaia this is one of those films that I don't really like watching, limited dialogue, a slow pace, but this one was too good for me to dislike. A forest ranger is injured during a mission and she is saved by two survivalists who have a cult devoted to the forest. It's a weird flick but director Jacob Bauer does a fantastic job at using all of this weirdness for the betterment of the film. The score is creepy as hell just like the atmosphere which never made me feel safe. Remember, this is a slow burn film, not for everyone, this is more intended for those who like our house horror films. If that sounds like you, check out Gaia, my number 4 favorite film of the year. Number 3 Censor I was extremely impressed by the premise of Censor. Enid is a film censor working during the video Nazis controversies in England. One of the very aggressive movies that she has to censor reminds her of her sister's disappearance. What I mean by reminds her is that the scene is exactly the same. Enid then spirals into madness as she tries to find a director who might have answers regarding her sister's disappearance. I found the plot to be incredibly original and it just messed with my head. Again, this is another slow burn film, but it's not that long so you shouldn't feel, feel that. Now I'm Elgar is superb here and I'm excited to see what she does next. Sensor is a superb hidden gem and coincidentally it's also my third most favorite horror film of the year. Number 2 There's Someone Inside Your House Netflix have done it again, this is their second entry on this list, Bully for Netflix. I didn't really expect that much from this film, it's about a masked assailant who targets students from a high school and he exposes their darkest secrets and a group of students try to stop this from happening. It's another slash of film, a subgenre which had quite a few new entries this year. The plot is nothing extraordinary, but the twists and turns of it are fun and unexpected enough to make this film quite different. It's very well made, the score incredibly tense, the performances are up to par, the kills are gory. Just gory. It received some bad reviews, I personally thought that it was great, just great enough to be my second favorite horror movie of the year. Before we unveil the top spot, here are some honorable mentions. What is storytelling? Storytelling started with our indigenous people. Can anyone give me an example of a myth? Or a story they're afraid of?
number one, Saint Mod. 824 had the top spot, which is the most unsurprising thing of the year. Saint Mod is the descent into madness of a nurse who tries to save the soul of one of her patients who is going to die. The script and direction from Rose Glass is exceptional, and Morphe Clark's performance as Mod is one of the best performances of the year. It's an art house horror film, the horror genre which has stopped popularity charts in recent years. It's also a great character study of a madness bound character. What I like most about it was that I never really know what to expect next from the film. I was always surprised by the twists and turns and it's just my favorite horror movie of the year. What are some of your favorite horror movies of the year? Let me know that in the comments. While you are there press that like and subscribe button. Press the bell to get notifications every time my videos get uploaded and until next time keep on watching movies guys.